protocol of the organic and then the communications and branch manager and um, David will be in our home uh, with that year. Um, I'll start with coach. Um, you must be so lucky. And after two years, Kotoko comes home um, after the results against Dreams. Um, at some point, it was turning into an IT climax, but you found a way. Do you think today was a fair reflection? And then what's the target going forward from here? Yeah, I think it, it was a, a, a fair reflection of the game, looking at the number of chances that we created. And don't forget that luck comes to the prepared mind. So we're well prepared. We created a lot of chances. And I think we were able to stretch them to the dying embers of the game where they became fatigued, they became tired, and therefore couldn't chase those penetrative passes to be able to clear their lines. So if you look at even the second goal, it was virtually a free header, even though they were around because they were tired. So uh, to me, they couldn't distribute their energy positively, but we were able to distribute our energy positively throughout the game. And therefore, we were able to score those two goals. My name is So Adjiti Albert, GBC Kumasi. I'm sure of the two tacticians for the game. Uh, you were the one who we saw stand up throughout the game. Were your tactics not communicated very well and were they not adhering to them? Because I saw you most often issuing our instructions to your clients. The tactics were, were, were straight to them. I mean, I mean, the game is sad that you always have to make sure that you build that chemistry between you and your players. So when you stand, it's, it's let them make, know that uh, you are actually part of the game. So that was why most of the time I stood. Not that they were not getting the tactics right. I wanted to find out, are you worried that you, you are scoring late in games? Because the first game against uh, Dreams, you had to come back you know, 16 minutes to go to win 3-1. And this game to the same thing after 85 minutes, you still haven't scored. Are you worried? And another question I wanted to find out. It looks like in the first game, uh, Agadas had to come in and then support Mudasiu in midfield. I want to find out why don't you start both of them in games? Or you think it's a strategy that has been working for you, so you want to keep it that way? Yeah, the first question, I'm not worried. I mean, football is played in 90 minutes. So once the goal is scored, that is it. A goal can be scored in the first minute and a goal can be scored in the 90th minute. So I'm not worried at all. Once they keep to my game plan, I don't have an issue. Uh, for Agadas coming in, I think uh, we have depth in the team. And when you have depth in the team, you make sure that you rotate the players intelligently so that you don't have similar players playing in unnatural positions on the foot, which will make them, which will make it very difficult for them to play. So I don't want to play him out of position. That's why. I, I, I keep him on the bench. So it's, it's, it's not a problem at all to him, and it's not a problem at all to the team. My name is over the champion, so uh, um, coach, uh, the first time um, playing at the White House Post Stadium, I you very impressed with the atmosphere, and um, what would you like to tell us? Yeah, I, I think it was so good, it was so beautiful. The support was throughout the game, and that's, that's a spirit that the Pokopan needs to be able to get to the top as far as Ghana football is concerned. Um, to the fans, I want to tell them that they need to be patient. Uh, if you look at it, under no circumstance, we balloon the ball. Even when we were under pressure, we, we, we kept the ball on the turf. It's a new game model I'm trying to inculcate in the boys. It's a game model I want to develop and live with Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So it will take time for, for, for the players to be automatic in their performance, they, to be able to play without thinking about it. So. All that I'm trying to let the supporters understand is that they should be patient with the technical team. They should be patient with the playing body. And with time, when we get into the flu zone, they will even enjoy better football. Yes, coach, my name is Jibu Suba. I'm representing First of all, I'd like to say a big congrats in your outfit. That is wrong, honestly. Because I'm, I'm part of the family, that's something that I'm Coach. Uh, you were once a coach for one Now you're coaching as a coach. Would you strike the disparity for us in mean, coaching one part and coaching as a coach? In terms of? In terms of you know, the demand, the support base and everything, including, I mean, the pressure coaching as a coach as compared to. As for pressure, the pressure is everywhere. I mean, who tells you there's no pressure everywhere? Pressure. It, it, 
the, it, it, it's not the same, but then pressure is pressure. Um, it's, it's about you, the coach, your ability to manage the pressure, your ability to, to, to listen to uh, off the camera what, what, the, what the followers are saying, what the fans are saying. Remember, they are the stakeholders and the team belongs to them. So it is my ability to, to have a listening ear on the ground, to be able to uh, get their, their concerns so that I'll be able to pick those I think will help the team to make the team a better team. But when it comes to pressure, my brother, pressure there's everywhere. Even when you, you coach coach team, there's pressure there. Okay, so whatever you are done with coach, um, you captain the team today at the Barbara Sports Stadium, and then there's a clean sheet to go with after the winning um, um, in a car against dreams. Um, how, how, how are you feeling? Well, it's it's a great feeling to lead such a wonderful club to shed heights. It's one of the best in my career, alhamdulillah. But I will only urge the fans to keep on supporting. We've just started match after match. They should keep on supporting us. We we'll do our best for the club and the fans. My name is Kapno Sudan, Open Soul Radio. Um, you played with former or two former players of Kotoko, mm -hmm. that is uh, Okra and Anapina. Um, I want to ask, in my, in my last time talking, I was another one there. Uh, were they difficult to handle, knowing them that they know what they were so well? Well, it's our job. There's no difficulties in this thing. All that matters is just to get, get the three points for the club. So I don't see anything difficult marking them or they giving us threats. Playing with them, playing with players from Tennessee, how have you been playing with these guys and leading them? Well, uh, what I can only say is uh, there's no young boys or old guys in this club. We are one. And the mo main motive is just to help the club achieve to the greatest height. So we don't differentiate whether this one is small, this one is new, this one is old. We don't have that in the club. And our main motive is just to just get a points and help the club. Okay. Okay. Being the captain for the Masters, I think, we give it captain. Comes in and out. What different are you bringing on board so that the supporters will gain this exception? Discipline and hard work and then prayers. Inshallah. Inshallah. Your next outing is against the Vienna Gold Stars at the time so on Friday. What are we going to say about that game? One match at a time. We, we're going to see what Allah will do for us at that day. But so far, we're going to work harder and correct our mistakes and then to move on to the next game. He's, he's a father to us, a senior brother to us. If you had to work with such a great gentleman as he is, you would not want to let him down. So just a source of motivation to us to just make he meant the club great, inshallah. Yeah. Well, alhamdulillah. So we take it match after match and then we work on it. National team is just national team. We work on it, inshallah. Yeah. I think we 